This is a reed cutter. Reed cutters come in all shapes and sizes, depending on the single reed you're working on. And right now we're going to show the proper use of the reed cutter. So the reed cutter has three basic parts. You have your latch here that opens and closes that holds the reed on. You have your slider here, which changes the direction or the length of tip coming out of the top. And then you have your cutting device up here at the top. How to use a reed cutter. Reed cutters are not super complicated, but everything needs to be lined up exactly right. So the two big things you need, of course, are your reed cutter and your reed. The reed will work best if it's dry. The more quality reed cutter you have, you can the more wet your reeds can be when you cut them. If you have a really low quality one like this one, they want to be as dry as possible or else they'll leave little shavings. So the first part is you want to flip over the reed cutter and open up the latch. The second part, you want to take the braid, the back of it, and you want to put it against the back here and fasten it in there with the latch. It doesn't matter too much how much of the tip is in there yet because we can use our little slider to adjust that later on. The next part is the tricky one. You want to line everything up very, very well. So looking here, you want to see that there's reed on either side as well as a little bit at the tip. And you want everything to be nice and straight. Now remember, you can always take more off. You can never put more back on. So I always suggest cutting in little tiny slivers. And that's where you use your adjuster here. And if you need to, you can use a finger back here to make it centered again in that middle part. Once you have the amount you want to take off on there, I'm going to have to hide it for a minute, you want to hold very securely the entire contraption and then you want to press 